yo, hello guys, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Madden 2008. I am loving this game, man. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just not feeling Madden 23, and I'm, I've been grinding. Dude, I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm so ahead on videos. <laughs> I'm so ahead that I've had to move. At this point that you're watching this, I've had to move... The episodes to two a day just so I'm not so ahead I, I'm really enjoying this series so much man and um, I, I don't know I'm liking it just because it's no maybe the graphics you know aren't aren't so good but man the uh, just the gameplay the injuries the 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 depth of this game I I'm loving it and um, so anyways with that being a, being said I um, just wanted to um, update. We're here. The next video of the regular season. You guys seen week three when we beat. I mean, it was a fantastic game. I think it was week three when we. I mean, we had a like game of the year. Um, yeah, week three we beat the Chiefs versus Broncos, and really just have been on a win streak. I got to show you guys. I'm not playing any of these games. I'm kind of just simming. This is more management, and we focus on the um, in the playoffs. But we, we beat the Chargers, lost to Pittsburgh. Big Ben ends up getting hurt. Unfortunately, he is out for the year. And we have been winning like crazy. We just came off of a game, though, where you know, we, we took a bye, and we almost got upset by the Buffalo Bills. But we do beat them in overtime, 27-24. And uh, we're 6-1, and one, guys. We are the best team in the AFC at this point um taking a look around the the league though we're, we're in week eight the saints are four and two patriots are four and two so they're starting to look better and though big ben isn't with the picks we're still there's their defensive team they're still winning they're five and two titans are four and two um the rams four and two with with uh tony romo jets five and one uh, the Redskins 5-1. They're trying to get back to the NFC Championship and get into the Super Bowl. Packers with Aaron Rodgers sitting at a 3-3. Three three. Um, Dolphins still suck. Chiefs at 4-2, so we're still in a tight race with them. Seahawks looking pretty good. And um, the Colts, I don't think they're going to... They're in a weaker division, but um, I don't know if they're going to be in the Super Bowl again, man. They might have missed their chance. But... Um, yeah interesting we have really turned this team around man michael vick really worked out and it's crazy because we kind of look he wasn't the first guy we were looking at to pick up in the free agency but let let's take a look at some stats here uh real quick just from our team uh michael vick oh my goodness by far he is playing so good 13 touchdowns five interceptions for this game you don't realize how good that is man i'm so proud of this guy so thankful we brought him in. Not just that, you know he's done a little bit of damage on the ground. 392, he's our second rushing guy. And, um, you know, this year with Vic, I actually made our philosophy a little more about the pass. And it's actually ended up working out. That's why Henry is going to duck down on some yardage, I think, um, compared to last year. We're just not handing the ball as much as we were. And, and that's good. You can change that in this game, by the way, which I love so easily. Brandon Marshall, though he isn't got, you know, leading the team in receptions, he is the big target guy for throwing the ball deep, which I do appreciate. Um, Jordy Nelson not having the best rookie year, but, you know, hey, he's out there. He's, he's being a part of it, and, you know, that's all you can really ask. He's He is a young kid um, for blocking O-line. He's doing pretty decent. The center has given up seven sacks. Uh Kind of interesting. Um, we do have a left guard injury. It looks questionable there for defense. DJ Williams, gold among the top tacklers by far. Did a pretty decent drop off. Williams is, is everywhere though. He's really getting it done. Um, Ferguson. Now the sacks stats for this, they just weren't that high in this game. But um, we do have Jarvis Moss, who is finally getting starting time. 
Um, he didn't really start last year. He's starting now, and he's already got four sacks, so that's actually pretty pretty good um, for him. And then, you know, Doomerville looks to be have kind of fallen off. He had two eight year sack eight sack years. Now he has two just right now. Hopefully, he can pick that up. Overall, hopefully, we can get to the quarterback a little more. Just to show you, though, this is kind of what it looks like around the league as a whole. Like, there's nine sacks for the leader. It, it just sacks don't really generate too much in this game you know that we're used to in like Matt the modern Madden like Madden 23 um, for interceptions though Cox Foxworth Williams all have two um, that's not bad Champ Bailey has none believe it or not so interesting but we're getting the job done for kicking 80% field goal percentage 53 longest I'd like Jason Elam to do a little bit better there hopefully he can but overall, dude, we're winning games, and that's that's the most important thing. Um, as far as rankings go, you can kind of see here we are a offense of juggernaut team. Third in total yards, third in offense, fifth passing team, second rushing team with Vic and our running back Henry. As a duo, they got 1,000 yards. Um, points per game, six. We're putting up 25 points. Um, touchdown, uh, passing touchdowns, third in the league, seventh for rushing. Sacks allowed 26th, so I think that means we're not good. I think that means we give up too many. Yeah, that means, yeah, we could protect Mike Vick a little better. Um, that would probably be our weakest point is just protecting Vick. We're good. We're good offense, though, so far. Now, of course, we want to play good later in the season. Um, that's when you really want to play good. But for defense, it is quite the opposite. And that's the, maybe one of the bigger things that worries me is defense wins championships. Um, the Broncos, well, they are struggling on defense, as you can see here. So, we'll see. Teams, they've had 21 red zone attempts against our defense. And, uh, well, they've scored 12 touchdowns out of that. So... Yeah. Uh, but overall, 66% scoring in the red zone when a team enters is actually pretty good. So, like, you know, it's almost dang near 50-50 chance still inside the red zone, which is not bad if you ask me. But the, the only bad thing with, with that is, is if they do score in the red zone, it's likely going to be a touchdown. So, we'll see, though. Overall, our offense is really is carrying our team. We're doing very good, though. Um, for our coach, you know, if he continues to play like this, we're going to keep this guy here. He knows he's a, he knows how to win Super Bowls. Um, you know, he's so far with us at a, he was eight and eight last year. He's now six and one this year. So not, you know, not too shabby. I think, um, he may solidify himself to be on the squad even more. Um, I also wanted to take a look at this because I did edit the, um, the, I wanted to see the attendance because we're spending a little bit, okay, attendance has went up. I uh, did a little bit of advertisement for, this is interesting here. Anyways, I did a little bit of advertisement for our games. I bumped up some prices since we're winning games. But so so we're spending like 250 in television. I'm actually going to bump that up to like 350. I want to you know, I want to get a full stadium out here. We're going on a playoff run. We're we're like the best team in the league. Like come on, I need you guys, you know, coming to these games. Um and support support your um your Denver Broncos, you know what I mean? But uh yeah, we're sitting at a six and one record. So, you know, I'm liking where the team is at, man. I'm liking where the team is at indeed. We'll see what happens. Um as far as like let's take a look at like um I don't wanna look at the rookies yet. Okay, I do wanna do a full stats. Because if I don't look at the stats in this episode, I will most likely remember to do it at the end of the year. 
Um, it's kind of how my brain works. If I do it now, I think I've already done it. So, I wanted to look, though, at injuries real quick. Because there has been some big injuries that has happened. And so, I wanted to keep you guys updated on that. Well, let's just go by, by league. Um, the Bengals, Carson Palmer, he's been probable for a little while. We'll see what happens. Um, but they have been hit by the injury bug. We've been lucky so far. Fingers crossed. Don't want to don't wanna jinx it, right? But take a look at the um, injuries by length. Here, if it'll load. There we go. A lot of out for seasons, guys. London Stone, I, I feel like we already kind of covered this. But big, big boy Ben Roethlisberger. Um, uh, consent or not. It doesn't matter. He's coming through. Well, he's got a severe concussion out for the season. Call it quits there. Leon Washington. Um, Wayne Gandy. A lot of Kevin Cole. The Eagles are down to the third string um, quarterback. It's actually pretty pretty sad. They actually had to hire, uh, sign somebody on. So, you know, I'd be surprised if the Eagles do anything this year. But um, just a lot of injuries, man. Um, oh, the rookie Curtis Lofton. Who was picked up by Detroit out for seven weeks with a uh, broken tailbone? Unfortunate for him. Hate to see when a rookie goes out like that, you know. Um, Aaron Ross, Josh Reed. You know, a lot of um, a lot of injuries this year. So there it is for the injuries, though. Um, for standings. Just cover the standings one last time, just in case I didn't. Let's um, take a look at the standings here. AFC looks like this as far as it goes right now. You know, there's some teams here. Like the AFC is pretty, pretty competitive right now. For the NFC, the Redskins still, you know, they're not done. They, they, they missed out last year. New quarterback. In Matt Ryan, young Matt Ryan, looking to try and go to the uh, to the to the Super Bowl this year. We'll see what they can do here. Um, the Saints, Seahawks, Rams, with their new quarterback, still looking pretty good. But overall, the NFC isn't as competitive. The Vikings are sitting at 0 and 6, looking for that first round pick. You guys, let me know what do you think we can do. What, what do you think we can we finish? Are are the Broncos going to the playoffs? At this point, we'd have to really suck. And we did win this the last game, which let's go ahead and simulate this week. But let me know, do you think, um, you know, do you think the Broncos really have what it takes? Do you think an offense can take you to the Super Bowl and win it with almost having one of the worst defenses? Because that's kind of the case as of eight weeks in. And that's got me a little nervous because the saying goes, defense, is, defense wins championships, not offense. So... I don't know. You guys let me know. Um, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.